Hey guys, this is Pastor Terry coming to you from the Situation Room here at Preparing the Way Church here in Dallas, Texas with another segment of Words of Freedom. And today I want to share a little bit about what's going on in our country and what we are to do as believers during this time. We have seen uh, a big change, a big shift in the political atmosphere in our country. Many, many congressmen and congresswomen are supporting socialism now, coming out in favor of it. Uh, it's not even hidden anymore. They also are the killing of babies, uh, even after they have uh, uh, escaped the abortion and they're born alive. Now, 19 states already have laws that, that do not protect the baby, where the mother and the doctor can decide to kill the baby. Uh, when I was growing up, no one ever imagined anything like this would happen. No one ever imagined that political candidates and congressmen and congresswomen would be saying we're for socialism, we're against capitalism. Uh, things are getting worse all the time. And many of the people, Christians uh, especially, don't know what's going on in our country. They're not aware of these things. We have people from Venezuela in our country here now in our church. And uh, they have seen what happened in Venezuela when that country at one time was very prosperous. And now it's in utter poverty. People are dying. They can't get medications and food because communism has taken over and the devil has, has done a, a number on the people and deceived the people. And it's happening here in our country right now as we speak. And I'm speaking out against it in our church uh, here on, in this, uh, this program also. But um, what do we do? And, when this is happening in a country. What do we do as Christians? We need to be informed. We need to vote properly. We need to be aware of the laws that are being passed. We need to uh, contact our congressmen and give our opinions on what our values are and try to get some changes made there. Uh, and then also pray. But in addition to that, as Christians, what do we do? If we look at uh, the disciples and what Jesus did when they were in Israel in the time of the Roman occupation, uh, they were not what you would call absolutely free people. But they still managed to keep their focus on the things of God and to do what Jesus said. So what are the things that we need to do now in light of what's going on in our country politically, what's going on in the world internationally, and uh, what's going on even in the church as the churches are getting less and less biblical in their approach. They're getting more socialistic, uh, more worldly in their, in their views, and very few now are staying straight with Bible uh, principles and standards. What do we do? So the Lord put in my heart, there are three things that we need to do. We need to evangelize. Jesus evangelized. He said, the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which is lost. So that's what I've instructed our Jethro leaders to do is to, to evangelize, to teach your people to do the same thing. We've asked everyone to, to get a list of one to five people that they pray for every day until salvation comes. Then after they are saved, we evangelize. Then the next thing we need to do is disciple the people. And in Matthew, before Jesus went back to heaven, he said, all authority is given to me. After the resurrection, he had a total authority on heaven and earth. And he said, go therefore into all the nations and make disciples of the nations. So discipleship, not just evangelism and bring people to Jesus, but we need to disciple them and teaching them to observe everything that he taught us to do. So one of the, the next things to do after discipleship is to teach the people to serve. Jesus said, uh, I, was, I didn't come to be served, but to serve. He said, I, he humbled himself, took on the form of a servant, emptied himself of everything. So that's another thing that we need to do during this time is become servants. Uh, James and John wanted to be on the left and right hand of Jesus. The mother came and said, I want you to put them on the, your left, left hand and your right hand. And Jesus said, uh, that's not mine to, to do. It's not mine to give. That's my father's decision. He said, but if you want to be great in the kingdom, the one who will be greatest will be the servant of all. So Jesus came to serve. He made himself a bond servant. He did not come to be served. And so I've told our leaders, I've told our people that the three things, evangelize, disciple, and then be a servant. Everyone in our church, I try to get them in one of our Jethro groups where they can be discipled. 
and then we try to get them serving in some capacity here at the church. We want 100% participation in serving. Everybody needs to serve. Uh, without serving, uh, Jesus said, your faith increases as you serve. Uh, as you serve people, you get connected to people. As you serve people, you get connected to God. And the one way to serve God is really by serving the people. Jesus said, if you've done it to one of the least of these, my brothers, you've done it to me. So serving Jesus is serving people. So that's the, one of the things that we need to do is serve. So during this time when things look chaotic and maybe you're discouraged, maybe you're down, maybe you say, what's the use? Uh, it's all going to end. Well, that's true. But God said, you need to occupy it until I come. That means evangelize. That means disciple. That means to serve. If you do those three things, then I think you'll be able to ha handle the difficult situations that are going on in your life that's going on in the world uh, and going on uh, nationally and politically in our lives. We can overcome those things by doing these three things, evangelize, disciple, and serve. So God bless you. I hope this helps you, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye.